concentrate, concentrate can be a good product. So we'll start there. There's whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate. Mm -hmm. They both start as the same thing. It's a byproduct of cheese making. It starts out as a liquid whey, and it's getting rid of the liquid, getting rid of the fat, the lactose, all the sugar, all the garbage just gets filtered out. Okay. If you get a lot of it out, you end up with an isolate. An isolate, by definition, USDA definition, has to be a minimum of 90% protein value, complete protein value. So if you see an isolate in a product and it's labeled whey protein isolate, then you know at least 90% of that is pure protein on a dry basis. That's just lab definition. It's a little less than what you put in the bottle. It's about 88, 89%. The problem with whey protein concentrate is the definition by the USDA is it's a protein coming from whey that has to be a minimum of 25% all the way up to 89.9. After that, it starts as an isolate. So you have this range, a 65% range in quality from 25% all the way up to 90%. Now there's no commercial available WPC that's 89.9, they're all about 80. So if you take a really high end weight concentrate that's 80% next to an isolate, well, they're fairly close, 10% difference. Not bad using the two of them together or separate.